Have you ever felt the need of creating a watermark in your ggplot charts? If yes, then keep on watching. We'll be using these libraries, ggplot2 library for creating the plots, and flex table library just to display the data on the screen, and then the tracy library which actually creates the watermarks. Let's have the sample data first. I'm going to use the empty cars data set and I'm going to view it using the flex table. We'll create a simple scatter plot chart and then take it up from there. So to create a scatter plot, we would use MPG and displacement, the miles per gallon and displacement, and then create a scatter plot. Just to get a basic watermark, we can use the tracy package and the ggwater command and give the text equals draft and you can get the watermark on the screen. You can also change the color of this watermark by using the call command. You can see that the data is a bit long, longer than the actual chart. We'll try to fix that as well. So I'm going to rotate that. You can rotate it by giving a rotational angle and you can also change the transparency of this watermark by using the alpha values from 0 to 1. And then let's see how we can handle the large text. So if the text is this long, it's not going to fit in properly. How do we fix it? We can create a scaling. So using the scaling factor as scale equals 0 0.4, by default it's 1 and you can start reducing it to whatever is the right size for you. I hope you found this information useful and practical. Thank you very much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.